Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 31st of October 1922, the Italian cabinet of Prime Minister Benito Mussolini took the oath of office and formally assumed control of the government. Mussolini, who was determined to restore the glory of the Roman Empire following the mutilated victory of the First World War, had formed the precursor to the fascist party in 1919. His skill as an orator, the intimidating power of his black shirts, and the relative weaknesses of the existing liberal government all contributed to the speed at which the fascists gained influence. On the 24th of October 1922, Mussolini went on stage at the Fascist Congress in Naples to declare his willingness to use the power of the fascist movement to overthrow the government of Liberal Prime Minister Luigi Facta. Four days later, approximately 30,000 black shirts from around the country gathered in the capital in an event known as the March on Rome. As they filled the streets and occupied public buildings, they called for Facta's resignation. The Prime Minister chose to oppose the attempted revolution, but King Victor Emmanuel III refused his request to declare martial law. Stunned by the King's rejection of military action, Facta offered his resignation, which was immediately accepted. Victor Emmanuel later invited Mussolini to form a government whose cabinet was sworn in on the 31st of October in front of the king himself. The establishment of Mussolini's government was greeted by a victory march by tens of thousands of blackshirts. In time, the march on Rome would achieve mythical status among fascists as a revolutionary seizure of power, but the reality is that Mussolini was granted power by the king. Within a few years, however, he would transform the country into a dictatorship. If you enjoy History Pod, please consider supporting it. You can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play.